Hey guys, it's Eric here and this is a blind camera comparison between the Techno Camon 12 Pro, the Phantom 9 and the Camon 11 Pro. So let's take a look at all their camera specs and jump right into it. First off, you get high dynamic range on all three, Photo B has a warmer tone. When you take a closer look, you see some loss of sharpness in Photo A, darker shadows in Photo A and C which puts B in the lead here. This shot was taken at dawn. I can barely tell the difference from the greens here but in the macro shots we see several levels of HDR and while they are all pretty crispy, Photo C is giving off the kind of sharpness we see on photos shot with Gcam. Here we see three different skin tones, A is brighter but didn't have its focus entirely on the subject, B is quite saturated and pretty sharp and C is slightly less saturated than B. When we go up close we can almost see the thread count on Photo A. These were taken with the primary camera and they all look decent, I love the skin tones on A and B more than C. When you go closer, you see that photo A isn't quite as sharp as B and C. Using portrait mode, photo A has an amazing depth and isn't blurring any part of my head at all. When it comes to selfies taken under direct sunlight, A isn't as sharp as the rest and kind of looks like it was shot with beauty mode turned on but the skin tone looks better than B and C. In this portrait selfies, they look pretty okay but not quite as good as their primary cameras with all three missing the mark here and there. No more beauty mode filter on photo A and now I'm starting to think that I accidentally took a selfie with beauty mode turned on. Now off-white background is usually overexposed on budget smartphone cameras and here it's no different on the selfies taken indoors. My face is the brightest in photo B but photo A managed the exposure and sharpness better than B and C. Portrait mode is a little different because B now gets the most accurate mapping of my face, better brightness and sharpness. This was shot indoors with a primary camera, looks the brightest on photo A, though the deeper blues and reds are likely preferable in photo C and especially photo B. In pitch darkness taken with flash, they're all bright but photo B and C are giving off a blurry effect almost like my hands were shaky, while photo A is supernatural how it should be. Outdoors, using the primary camera, only photo A is able to take a decent shot without extreme noise or light flare. With selfies at night taken without flash, photo B is quite bright and sharp, photo C is pretty bright but not as sharp as photo B, while photo A is just as sharp as photo C but just not as bright. Here is a 1080p video shot with all three cameras, do let me know which you think is the best vlogging camera of all three in the comments below. And now the big reveal. Photo A was shot with the Camon 11 Pro, Photo B was shot with the Camon 12 Pro and Photo C was shot with the Phantom 9. I guess we finally answered the question of whether the exact same camera lenses were used on both the Phantom 9 and Camon 12 Pro. The megapixels may be the same but the technology isn't. Hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a thumbs up and share it. Also follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see what I'm up to. Please subscribe for more videos like this as it will mean a lot to me and I will see you in the next one. Peace.